Welcome to Round 9 of Mideast Racing. This race brings us back to Beaver Pond, a location we revisited last year for the first time in many years. This track was known for its super tight lines through the woods and dusty conditions. The biggest challenge for the riders on this weekend would absolutely be the dust, making it difficult for the riders to see and breathe during the hot race. Up on the front row, we have a full lineup, David James, Scott Harwell, and Patrick Tobin looking to compete for the win. When the green flag dropped, Jason Crawford and Andrew Clark got off the line with Jason Crawford getting out in front and taking the whole shot. Crawford to take advantage of being out in front with the clean air and clear vision as he would roll down one of the fastest laps of the race. Everyone behind him would have to battle the dust if they wanted to run him down. David James and Scott Hartwell would make their way through the field after not having a bad start. They would begin catching up to Crawford who would stretch his lead out to one minute over the first lap. Back on the third line of the B Masters class, Jerome Canty and Joey Nelson locked into a tight battle for the lead, separated by only one point. At the drop of the green flag, Todd Little and Jerome Canty got off the line first and would be neck and neck for the first turn, with Todd Little just barely squeaking out the whole shot. After getting out front early, Todd Little would start to pull away from the rest of the class and would be able to ride it home to the finish for back-to-back -back wins. Bruce Cook would move up into second place early and be able to hold on to that position all the way to the finish of the race. Coming in third place, battling back from fifth place early in the race is Davey Durelli. Back in the C4 stroke heavy class, CJ Center is starting to run away with the season, already having five of the eight wins. When the green flag would drop, CJ Center flew off the line, grabbing the whole shot, followed closely by Ethan Floyd. The two would be neck and neck, battling out into the next turn with Floyd taking the lead when CJ overshot the turn. CJ Center, however, would catch up quickly and take the lead on the first lap. He would be able to hold on to that lead and finish the race with back to back wins, extending his overall points lead in the class. Following him in second and third place is Caleb Knuckles and Zachary Wilford. Also racing in this race for the first time in over 10 years was CJ Center's dad, Charles Center, who ended up winning the C Senior Class as well. How's that race, man? Oh, crap. I ain't raced a bike in 10 years, ain't rode a bike in a year. Pretty good. How'd you end up doing? First. Heck yeah, man. It's not bad for not racing for a while, right? Huh? Not bad for not racing for a while, right? That's it. 10 years. Again, man, well, good job out there today. Appreciate it, man. How was it, man? Dusty. It was oh. pretty rough, but it wasn't that bad. Just get out front early and just beat the dust? Or? Tried to, but you couldn't beat the dust, man. 
Again, right, yeah, we'll good race today. Congratulations, man. Appreciate it, man. Back up in the front, David James and Scott Harwell closed the distance to Jason Crawford on the third lap and would end up taking the lead. After taking the lead, David James would not look back and would stretch out his lead, riding it in for another victory. Coming out of nowhere back in the C two-stroke light class was Zachary Freeman who would perch into your top three, taking second place on the day. He would set an insane pace through the middle lap. By the fifth lap, he would manage to move all the way up into second place and hold that to the end of the race. How was it, man? It was super hot. <laughs> it was a little just, dusty? Yeah, a little dusty, yeah. A lot of dusty. A lot of people dropping it. A lot of people dropping it and stuff because of the soft powder. It was good. How'd you end up getting in the lead? You were in second for the first two laps. I don't know. Uh, he moved over for me. I didn't know sure if it was him. I didn't know who it was. And I never seen him no more. I don't know who he was. Heck yeah, well good race, man. Appreciate you. Did I, how'd I do, you know? Oh, you got it. Overall? Good. Rounding out your overall podium in third place was Scott Harwell. That does it for round nine in the first half of the season. We hope you all have a great summer break, and we look forward to seeing you at round 10 in Pea Ridge back at the end of August. Until then, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.